And we even experienced what was like modern day miracles uh, when things happened, like when the Supreme Court had ruled on bus desegregation. We were in court that day <clears throat> because, <clears throat> excuse me, the city of Montgomery had was having a hearing and was trying to outlaw our transportation system. And if it had, maybe the people would have gotten tired and gone back to the buses. And my husband was very worried. And I said to him, you know what? I think that by the time we go to court and by the time the judge rules, that the Supreme Court will have ruled. And, and, and we felt that if the Supreme Court ruled, it would be in our favor. And that was my consolation. And sure enough, while we were in court, Associated Press, uh, an Associated Press reporter handed, handed a note to my husband, and it said the Supreme Court of the United States has ruled today that bus segregation in Montgomery is unconstitutional. So that ended the court session. So it was that kind of thing, uh, an intervention again, that helped us to realize that we were doing the right thing and you continue to do that. And that more importantly, that we had been, we had been called, I had been called personally to be in Montgomery at that time because I had always did, sought my purpose. As, as a teenager, I began to think about what my life was gonna be like. And going to college, that was one, one level. Uh, going beyond there was the next level, going to prepare for a music career. But when I got to Boston, there was, I realized, another reason and, uh, for me being there. And then I wondered why Martin Luther King Jr., <clears throat> a minister that I didn't think I would ever marry a minister, and then he was going back south. I wanted to go back south, but I wasn't prepared to go at that time because I had to finish my work. And finally, in Montgomery, and then things began to happen, So, it, and the house was bombed. So I, I did a lot of soul searching after that and tried to remember, you know, try to think back of how I got there. And I, re I realized that all my life I had been being prepared for this role and that we were supposed to be there be there in Montgomery. And it, it was a great feeling of satisfaction because I realized that I had found my purpose.